We're here to tell you that we hate nobody. So I'm coming out of the closet and saying I'm a Christian. And I want to know whether you would tolerate me as a Christian. Would you tolerate me, sir? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? I don't want to engage. Ma'am, would you tolerate me as a Christian? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? Go away. Okay, so you're a bigot. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? You don't want to talk to me. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? Would you tolerate me as a Christian? So you don't want to talk to me? Everyone's accepted. And that's what we preach as Christians, that everybody is accepted. Jesus died for the sinner. Do you know that every person is a sinner? Don't touch me, please. Please take that off my body. Now, if love is love, will your love accept me? This is the question that I have for everybody. Will your love accept me? How deep is your love today? How deep is your love? If your love is true, and you believe everyone is entitled to dignity, then my question for you today is, will it accept Christians? If you claim to have a certain lifestyle, that's up to you. But I'm here to tell you today, I am not assaulting you. I am not showing violence towards you. I am not saying anything hateful towards you. Love is love. And we ought to love. And God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And it's for everybody. Every person here is worthy of, a, of hope. Every person here is worthy of a chance of forgiveness. I'm allowed to walk freely in Canada, Toronto. Please, now, now you're assaulting me. Please. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk. They would allow people to walk on a public sidewalk, but I'm not allowed to walk on a public sidewalk. The laws of Canada apply to Church and Wellesley. The laws of Canada apply to Young and Dundas. Oh, you're talking. You're touching me. Sir. I'm here to tell you today that you deserve respect. It doesn't mean I agree with you, but every person is deserving of respect. Please get back. I didn't do anything against the law. I didn't do anything against the law. You're ripping my shirt. No, no. Okay, well, I'm being arrested. For what? What did I do? You are not upholding the law. What did I do? We're going to give you all the information. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I need to know what I did according to the law. This is against the law. This is against the law. This is against the law. Jesus Christ died for everybody. This is against the law. This is against the law. You guys gonna tell me when I'm being arrested? Cause of disturbance of breaching the peace. How so? I already explained it to you a lot of times. Sharing the gospel. I'm sharing the gospel. Thank you, sir. I was sharing the gospel with the What happened is we were in the area of the church and wealthy street. Um, I didn't say anything specific to any uh, to uh, the LGBT community, uh, it's all on live stream. Um, I, Did you strategically choose the village? Clearly, it's the no, like, village in Toronto. Like I said, we're on a Toronto tour. So just before then, we were at Kensington Market. We were at uh, uh, a high school. Um, I forgot the name of it. The day prior, we were at Sherborne and Queen, reaching out to the homeless community. And so we're going all throughout Toronto to all 22 districts of Toronto, sharing the gospel to everybody. And that's the part of our goal. This is widely publicized. So no, I didn't just go there specifically to one community, but we're going to every community to share the gospel. Because so what, for God so loved your... the entire world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. There's